वेलकम टू माई चैनल मास्टर मैथमेटिक्स बाई शेजी मोहनस टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द सुपर इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर्मूला हेरोन फॉर्मूला इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सिंपल ओके आई एम गोइंग टू शो दिस टॉपिक इज वेरी इजी फॉर यू आफ्टर वॉचिंग द एंटायर वीडियो इट इज आई एम गोइंग टू मेक दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इज एब्सोल्युटली सिंपल फॉर यू ओके so you have to make sure that watch the entire video then only you can understand the concept okay before in depth of the heron's formula you have to understand the basic formulas of a triangle okay let us see what are the basic formulas okay uh, what is simply we can write it as area of a triangle what is the area of a triangle that this is the triangle what is the area of a triangle it is very simple this is the base and this is the height perpendicular drawn from a to the base is called the height so from here what is the area of triangle so which is nothing but half into base into height or simply we can write it as half b h b is nothing but the base and the height is h if any given triangle abc a perpendicular drawn to the base that is h height so we can write it as simply half ph look at this picture what is the speciality of this triangle see this this angle is 90 degree that means we can call it as a right triangle triangle right triangle triangle so what is the area of this triangle this is the base this is the base and this is the height in in the uh, last we discuss uh, in this triangle in this triangle abc you draw a perpendicular from a to the base so it will make a right angle isn't it yes from that we can derive area of a triangle is half into base into height but in case of this right angle triangle if any change no it is very simple it is area is equal to half into b into h which is nothing but here base is b but here h so half into base is bc so bc into height is ab so in the right angle triangle the area will be half into base into height that is no change okay so generally in basic formula for triangle is half bh the right angle triangle there is no change next uh, moving on to the equilateral triangle what is the area of a equilateral triangle we can derive it for example for the right angle triangle the base is 15 and the height is 10 base is 15 and height is 10 what is the area of this right angle triangle which is nothing but here base a b c base is 15 and this is 10 what is the area so area is equal to here half into base into height which is 50 half into 15 into 10 5 that is equal to 75 square cm isn't it easy yes so if you given any values of a right angle triangle or any other triangle means it is easy to find the area half into base into height okay so base is here 50 and the height is 10 means it is easy to find half into 15 into 10 that is equal to 14 into 5 75 square cm okay next moving on to the equilateral triangle what is mean by equilateral triangles equilateral triangle means all three sides are equal all three sides are equal this is called equilateral triangle so the equilateral triangle the sides are all equal all sides are equal so we can take it as a a a this three sides are equal this are called the equilateral triangle okay so from this we can how to find the area of equilateral triangle formula means it is very easy and nothing but you can draw a perpendicular 
from A to the base. So what is the base here? Here base equal to given the uh, side is A. So base equal to A. Okay. Then what is this? This is A by 2 and this is A by 2. This is right angle triangle. Okay. So from that you have to find the height. So using this uh, point P anyway. Okay, this perpendicular down A to the base is P means uh, this base is divided into equal parts means A by 2 and A by 2. So base is A but you have to find the height means in the triangle APC. So APC, this is PC is A by 2. You have to find AP, this is A. Okay, using Pythagoras theorem. What is the Pythagoras theorem? Hypotenuse square is equal to sum of squares of other two sides. That means here, which is nothing but AC square is equal to PC square plus AP square. Here we want to find the AP. So here AP square is equal to AC square minus PC square. So AP equal to the square root of AC square minus PC square, which is nothing but here. What is AC? A square minus PC is A by 2 the whole square. So let us see. This is A square minus A square by 4, which is nothing but we can write it as 4 A square minus A square by 4, which is nothing but 4 A square minus A square is equal to 3 A square. 3a square by 4 the square root which is nothing but root 3a by 2. That means square root of 4 is 2. a square is a root 3a by 2 is the height. This is root 3a by 2. So this is the root 3a by 2. Okay. So from here base is here base is a and the height is root 3 by 2. So let us see his here. A base of the equilateral triangle is A and the height of the equilateral triangle is root 3A by 2. Here we have to substitute in this formula area equal to half into base into height. Okay. So from here what is half into B? So half into Base is here. What is base? A into height. What is height? Height is which is nothing but root 3a by 2. So root 3a by 2. So you can do this. These are 2 into 2, 4. So 1 by 4 a into a square. So 1 by 2 into root 3 into a square. So which is nothing but here. We can write it as the answer is equal to root 3 a square by 4 is the area of equilateral triangle. I hope you all understood this. If any of the triangle is given, means you have to draw a perpendicular bisector to the base. And you have to find the height using Pythagoras theorem. And you have to apply this formula. Area of a triangle is half into base into height. Substitute here. Height is root 3a by 2. Then substituting we will get the formula is area of a equilateral triangle is root 3 by 4 a square. It is very easy. So you have to by heart the two formulas. First area of a triangle is this. Another one is. So, we have discussed two formulas. You have to by have this. Area of a triangle equal to half into base into height. And the area of an equilateral triangle is root 3 by 4 a square. It is applicable to all the examination. You have to by hand in these two formulas. Okay. In the area part, you have to by hand these two formulas. And another one is the heroine's formula. The heroine's formula is applicable to all the triangles. Okay. All triangles, that formula is useful. Another one is, what is the area of an isosceles triangle? That also one formula is that we have to derive it. But there is no need to study that uh, isosceles triangle. That's very easy to buy have these two. Another is complicated, but you have 
non A2 by hand that in the isosceles triangle two sides are equal. That is called isosceles triangle. How to prove the formula for isosceles triangle? But you no need to study this formula. Just I explain the and derive this formula. There is no need to by heart this formula. It is avoid that formula. Okay. Just I will inform to you how to get that derivation. Okay. So that means these two uh, sides are equal. This is the base. So these two sides are A, A means so this is the base. You can draw a perpendicular to the base. This is right angle triangle. So next we have to find the height. So this is B by 2 and this is B by 2. Then H is equal to what is the square root of here? AC square minus BC square which is nothing but here. What is BC square? That is AC square is equal to A square minus B by 2 the whole square. Which is nothing but here a square minus b square by 4. Which is nothing but here 4a square minus b square by 4. Which is nothing but here 4a square minus b square by 2. Okay. This is the height of the isosceles triangle. Then you have to substitute the area of a triangle half into base into height which is nothing but 1 by 2 into base is here b into height is here square root of 4 a square minus b square by 2 which is nothing but the formula will change 1 by 4 into base into square root of 4 a square minus b square this is the area of a isosceles triangle so I already uh, told you no need to by heart this formula you have to avoid fully okay. Just simply I inform to how to derive this formula for isosceles triangle okay. This is the formula area is equal to half into b into square root of 4a square minus b square. There is no need to by heart this formula leave it okay. Next we are going to important formula that is heroin formula that is very very important to all the triangles are applicable in that formula. Let us see that in the heroin formula is a very important super easy to uh, solve the problems. It is very easy and simple. It can be used in any of the triangle. There is no problem. It is applicable. But here I am drawing that the scale and triangle. What is meant by scale and triangle? All the three sides are different. Okay. This is this. This are different. So we can write it as the opposite of A is A and the opposite of B side is B and the opposite of C side is C. So dif different uh, sides A, B, C. A, B, C are the sides of triangle. So the heroine's formula is nothing but very easy which is S equal to square root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. This is the heroine's formula. A, B, C are the sides of the triangle. What is S? So S is equal to the semi-perimeter. What is a perimeter? Perimeter means sum of the three sides of a triangle. So semi-perimeter means S equal to A plus B plus C divided by 2. This is called semi-perimeter. Okay. So in heroine's formula is de derived this. A is equal to square root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. Here S is equal to A plus B plus C by 2. Which is nothing but S is the semi-perimeter. Perimeter means sum of the, all the three sides. Semi-perimeter means half. This is the formula. A, B, C are the sides of the triangle. Okay, from this heroine's formula derivation is I will give on the next video that is a lengthy. That is why I will not include it in this video. You have to by heart only this um, uh, formula that is enough to uh, solve the problems. Okay, I will prove the derivation formula of heroine's formula on the next video. You have to keep watching on my channel. So what is the heroine's formula? A equal to S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. And S is nothing but A plus B plus C by 2. Okay. So the heroine's formula is very easy and simple. 
you have to by heart this s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c where s is equal to a plus b plus c by 2. So in this video I concluded that the formulas you have to by heart only three formulas that is which is nothing but first one is this area of the triangle is equal to half into base into height which is very simple and what is the area of equilateral triangle root 3 by 4 a square. And you have to by heart the other one formula is heroin's formula is which is nothing but the square root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c which is nothing but s equal to a plus b plus c by 2. Here one more formula is the isosceles triangle. There is no need to by heart. You have to look at this 1 by 4 into b into square root of 4 a square minus b square. Let us do one problem based on this heroin's formula. How to do? Let us check. Here I have given a simple problem for you. The sides of the triangle 5 cm, 12 cm, 30 cm. Find the area. So here given all the values A equal to 5 cm and B equal to 12 cm and C is equal to 13 cm. So first of all we have to find the semi perimeter. That is S is nothing but A plus C plus B plus C by 2 which is nothing but here. 5 plus 12 plus 13 by 2 which is 30 by 2 which is nothing but 15 centimeter is the semi perimeter okay next we have to do using heroin's formula it is very easy and simple let us see so the formula is s a equal to sorry a equal to square root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c which is nothing but here 15 into 15 minus first 5 that is 10 15 minus 5 into 15 minus 12 into 15 minus 30 isn't it yes so let us see square root of 15 into 15 minus 5 10 into 15 minus 12 is 3 which is nothing but 15 minus 13 is 2. So which is nothing but this is the square root of 15 into uh, 10 into 3 into 2. What is the square root means we can simplify this 15 means 3 into 5 and 10 means 2 into 5 and 3 into 2. So you can take 1 from the pairs that means this 5 this 5 you can write it as 5. This 3, this 3, you can write it as 3. This 2, this 2, this is 2. So the answer will be 30 square centimeter. So the area of this triangle is 30 square centimeter using the uh, heroin's formula. So I hope you all understood these all. If you have any doubts or suggestions, please comment on the comment box. I will clarify you. Okay. Next video is based on uh, the derivation of heroin's formula okay so if you like this video like and share to your friends and if it is useful this video means you have to subscribe my channel okay and share to your friends also okay so thank you so much for watching see you on my next video till then bye